Hello and welcome to Ian's Bricks. As you can see behind me, I've got some Lego to unbox. Uh, these are things I've bought over the last couple of weeks and uh, there are no items at all from lego.com this time. So it's stuff from Amazon, I bought stuff from John Lewis uh, and from Asda as well, George from Asda, uh, and from Argos, believe it or not, I've, I've used them again. Uh, and, but there's some been really, really good deals around at the moment for some, uh, some uh, different sets. So uh, I've been trying to take advantage of those as much as possible, not always able to get all of the deals that are around all of the time but I managed to get some decent ones but including in this haul some Lego that I managed to get for free and I'll tell you how I did that uh, as the video goes on but uh, first things first I'm going to start think with one of the bigger boxes uh, let's move everything else out of the way first of all Okay, first up then is this box here, and this is from George at Asda. Uh, so I've mentioned this before, but George at Asda have uh, really upped their game uh, this year, and they seem to have some really, really good deals. Uh, the unfortunate thing about getting the deals is you have to come really, really early in the morning or very, very late at night. A lot of their deals sort of hit about half five, six o'clock in the morning or midnight, so there's, there's no sort of uh, rhyme or reason as to why they do it at that time. But uh, yeah, some of the deals are really, really good. So let's get into this box first of all. Right, okay, so we've got a nice big delivery box, but inside we have a Lego box. And it looks like all of these are in very, very good condition. So let's get one of these out. Okay, so I have this set here, a Technic set. Now, a couple of things with this. It's set number 4169, the McLaren Formula One E-Team. Um, I think this is probably a relatively new uh, model. I don't even know when this came out, probably even this year. Uh, it's not retiring at the end of this year. I know what you're thinking, Ian, why are you buying Lego that's not retiring at the end of this year? So I have a couple of shows later on this year couple of Lego shows where I like to take um, sets that are currently available and give them, sell them on at a cheap price. And so what I'm always doing at the moment is looking for what I consider decent sets that I can sell on, still make a little bit of a profit, but also pass those savings on to other people as well. So uh, this is normally £47 here in the UK. I was able to get these from as uh, from yeah Georgia Asda and they were just under £22 each so more than half price and I think for a set of this size for £22 I think that is a really really good deal um, I did use my um, my perks at work when I bought this so uh, whenever I buy anything um, from certain retailers say like Tesco or Aldi when I do my food shopping, Sainsbury have it, John Lewis, um, Asda, Georgia Asda, I can buy a gift card voucher um, and uh, so I pay full price for it um, but those when I when I buy those uh, those gift cards they turn some of them it's, it's like three four or five percent into points and then those points I can use at other times so I'll be using those points at other times I did pay full price for this uh, but yeah my whole order was um, was slightly less than 88 pounds for four of these sets so I thought it was a really, really good deal. The fact they've come in a Lego box is even better. I do try and second guess sometimes how many of these sets sometimes come in actual Lego boxes. Sometimes it can be two for the really large ones. Sometimes it's three for the, you know, mid-sized ones. Sometimes it's four like this. Sometimes it can be six. So it really can depend. But yeah, four of these, less than half price. I think that was a really, really good deal. As I say, I'm going to be selling those on fairly soon, probably towards the end of the year. I've got a couple of uh, fairs which I've got in mind, which I'll be taking those to. So let's get into another box. And this one here is, as you can see, is from Amazon. And it's a quite a hefty box. And we have even more boxes so we have two of these boxes here let's move things out of the way i do love these ready to ship boxes that lego have started doing and we have this set here now this i bought a few of recently 
It is a set that is still on the retirement list for 2024. That may of course change, but it's set 75365, the Yavin 4 Rebel Base. Uh, these are normally £150 here in the UK which I think is too much for this particular set. But these are regularly discounted in quite a few places, including Argos and including Amazon. Uh, Amazon, I think, the price match in Argos. And these have been reduced to £90. Now, I was talking earlier about um, sort of using voucher codes and things like that. So I think uh, over the past um, month or so, I've been getting quite a lot of... Um, voucher codes from places like Groupon discount codes when I've been ordering Lego um, which uh, I've turned into Amazon vouchers as also I've been using Quidco and Top Cashback quite a lot and quite a lot of that cashback has been maturing it's a lot of the stuff that I got in sort of uh, December January time that's all been maturing for me now uh, and what that means is I can turn those points into Amazon vouchers so I've had quite a lot of these vouchers I think I had around about uh, 50 pounds worth for this particular order which means that I was able to order two of these so we've got that one there and this one here there's a second one now leave that in the box for now so I ordered both of those and my total price, my total buying price was just over £130 for the two, which basically means that my buying price for these two sets was 60, just over £65 each, which I think is a great price for a £150 set. Um, don't think this is the most popular set in the world, but I think one thing that really has got something going for it, as you can see on the bottom, just to show you there's a lot of minifigures, and I think about four or five of these are possibly exclusive to this particular set. So, uh, yeah, well, whenever there's a discount like this, I definitely think it's worth stocking, stocking up on these sets. And as I say, because I've been using things like Top Cashback, Quidco, and other voucher codes as well, uh, they've sort of all matured at the right time, and I was able to get a really, really good discount on these two particular sets. If you haven't already signed up for Top Cashback, and Quidco. I will leave a link in, the, in, in my description. I think you can actually, uh, if you use those links, uh, not only will it benefit me, but it will also benefit you. Once you reach a certain limit, uh, you actually get some extra money as well. So you don't have to use it buying Lego. You can use it buying loads of other different things. So check out their sort of apps and things like that. Uh, but I've been using these for quite a while now and uh, yeah, they're definitely worth it for certain things once that money matures and that starts to come through. It's always really, really nice to be able to turn it into vouchers and to be able to get some money off a few things. Right, I need to have a little bit of a sort out uh, before I open the next box. Next up then is this box which is actually from John Lewis. Uh, so John Lewis um, are interested in the UK because they do have a few Lego exclusive items, so items that you can only buy from them and from lego.com. Um, the only thing about John Lewis is, is they don't really have that many good deals or discounts, uh, so you've got to keep an eye out for things as and when they uh, pop up in the shop because um, yeah, they, they, you know, they don't last very long sometimes. So I took advantage recently of a couple of sets uh, which are exclusives and are apparently retiring at the end of this year they have a little bit of a discount on first set is this set here now this is a set i don't actually own yet uh, and it's the architecture taj mahal set number 21056 uh, nice set this is 105 pounds here in the uk so quite a pricey set uh, but they had it reduced on uh, john lewis and i think it was down to about 84 i think these are still available actually from john lewis at that price so maybe check out their website if you have to get in this um yeah so there have been other versions of taj mahals in the past the larger versions and they've done particularly well uh, once they've retired i'm not sure this will do quite the same uh, but still a nice set one that i don't own it's actually a decent size sort of heavy box actually there's quite a lot of lego in there with architecture sets here lots of small pieces as well so yeah and um, 20 percent off that down to 84 pounds not the best discount in the world, but certainly better than a kick in the face. Uh, so I think uh, that was a good opportunity to get one of those. And I also managed to get one of these. 
and I have got one of these before. This is the Lego Ideas Office, uh, set number 21336. Uh, again, it's £105, so it was reduced to £84, exactly the same uh, discount on that. These have actually now sold out on John Lewis. I'm sure they'll be back in stock at some stage, uh, but they have sold out for now. So I was pleased to get myself my hands on one of these. Uh, I picked up one of these recently from the Lego store, and I think I used some of my insider points to make it a little bit cheaper or got a gift with purchase, something like that. So um, the office is reasonably popular, I think, here in the UK, uh, probably more so in the States and Canada. So if you are in those areas, this might be a set that you want to pick up. Uh, check out where this is a, an exclusive you tend to find if a, a set is exclusive in the UK at a particular store, if you're in Europe or elsewhere, Australia or wherever you are in North America, uh, that those sets will also be exclusive. So check out where this is an exclusive in your local area if you're outside of the UK, because you you might be able to pick this up with a with a discounted rate like I did. So keep an eye out for those offers and deals. Right, let's pop that there for now. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get into my second Amazon box here and this is my free Lego. So you heard me talking before about using um, Groupon discount codes to buy Lego, top cash back. Um, quite a few people have actually used my uh, affiliate links for um, Quidco and Top Cashback and a couple of those people had obviously used it and those had matured and I got a little bit of money from that as well as well as all the other deals and, and Top Cashback and Quidco and things like that. So I had on top of the £50 that I had for my um, Yavin set earlier I also had quite a bit more money as well and I managed to get this whole order for free um, and I got six sets in total and I got these sets here, which are Speed Champion sets. And they are 76908, the Lamborghini. This is a set that's down for retiring at the end of this year. These are normally £20 in the UK. Amazon had them for, I think this I think might have sold out now, but until very, very recently, they were down at £14 each, which isn't bad. I've seen them lower than that. But on top of that, if you ordered more than four, you got another 5% off. So it worked out that these were £13.30 each. So that's quite a good price anyway for these particular sets. But because I had all of that money in those voucher codes, I was able to get my whole order, which was just under £80, completely free. Now, you can't beat a bit of Lego for free, and uh, I'm really, really pleased to get these, because I think these are going to be fairly popular. I picked up a few of these last year. They were supposed to retire last year and didn't, uh, and I think I've still got a few of those from then. I've actually built this set as well. It's a really nice set to build, so if you haven't got this set already, do get that. They are bringing out soon uh, a larger version of this particular set as well, so that'll go nicely with that. Uh, but yeah, all in all, I'm very pleased to get those completely free. And it's all because I'm just quite savvy with how I use my vouchers and cashbacks and things like that. Uh, and so I'm able to stack up those deals. And when those, they say, when that money off starts to come through, it's uh, it's a really really nice feeling to have quite a lot of money. I think at one stage I had. So I had around about £130 worth of, um, of, uh, of, of, of money just sat there and I was kind of just waiting for a good deal uh, and that's when that came along and I thought I'd buy those. So my final order is from Argos. And I know what you're saying, oh Ian, you buy from Argos and you have a good old moan about the box quality. However, the set that I bought, I was led to believe that they would be delivered in ready-to-ship boxes. So let me just take off the plastic bag. I've got two of these, by the way, as well. And as you can hopefully see, we have ready-to-ship boxes. Now, the slightly concerned, <laughs> slightly worrying thing is, I've just unpacked this, and uh, you can see that they've been in there, Argos. Now, what this is probably for is because they put their stickers on, of course. Argos love their stickers. So I'm hoping they've literally just been in to put their Argos stickers on that and the set itself is still in good quality. And I've got this set here. And I know what you're thinking, Ian, are you Yavin a laugh? Uh, yeah, I've got some more Yavin for Rebel Bases 75365. Um, I'm just looking at the tags on those, yeah. Everything looks okay. I'm always a little bit worried when these ready to ship boxes have been, uh, have been opened. I have to say the the stickers on the back, the tabs on the back look as though they've 
maybe had a little bit of uh, wear or something, but they do look okay. I'm always very worried when these tabs look as though they've been opened, but uh, I think they're okay. I think that's just uh, how they've been put on and maybe a little bit of um, humidity perhaps in the storage. Um, so, I've not only got one of those, but i got two of those. Let's get this one open as well. There we go. That's the last one and I'm assuming they put a, yeah, there's the Argos sticker I was telling you about. They do peel off really, really easy. Um, so price of these, and I think these are still available from Argos if they're, check out your local store. But again, these are down to £90. Um, again, I think I've, I've paid actually £90 for these. I don't think there's any extra off these particular ones. Um, but yeah, I still think the £90 for these sets is quite good. Uh, the only downside of this, of course, is I think there's a lot of other resellers buying these sets at this particular price. So it might be a set that won't increase in value too much straight away once this particular set retires. Time will tell, of course. As I say, at the moment, it is still on the retirement list. So uh, that may, of course, change in future. But for now, I think I've got some good prices on quite a lot of these sets. Let me have a bit of a reorganise behind me. There we have it then, that is everything from this particular haul. Not the biggest haul I've ever done. Uh, however, if I've, added, I've just added up all the cost of these, so if I paid recommended retail price for all of these sets behind me, it would have cost me £1,118, ouch. However, with all my discounts and voucher codes and money off and all this kind of stuff, I actually paid £564 for all of this. Um, so, uh, yeah, if you double that, it's 11 20 I pay, you know, the recommended retail price is 11.18, so it's just slightly, just slightly above 50% off. So basically, you can say I've got this whole lot here for 50% off. I know some of there was quite a variation of some free stuff, some 20% off, uh, but overall, this uh, this is a very, very good haul. Um, again, there are some sets that I'll probably be selling on a little bit earlier than others. Some I might be hang hanging on to a little bit longer, uh, but I just think. Um, you know, keep an eye out for those deals because if you can get deals like this on a regular basis then they're always worth looking out for. And again just a variety of sets as well from Star Wars to Technic to Speed Champions to Ideas to Architecture so there's a hopefully a nice range of stuff in there as well. Um, so uh, yeah I'm sort of really pleased with how everything's going. I hope you like my display as well. It, uh, it's not very often I manage to get a nicely symmetrical display like that so uh, I hope I get extra points for that as well. Anyway I hope you enjoyed enjoyed this uh, Lego haul um, so keep an eye out for those um, uh, those discount codes on places like Top Cashback and Quidco and voucher codes and things like that uh, so use the link in my description if you aren't already subscribed to those things and if you have used that affiliate link before, do start trying to use those, even if it's not on Lego, even if you're just buying normal things. If you buy anything online, just think, oh, I wonder if they're on Quidco, I wonder if they're on Top Cashback, because it does, does always help to pay. Obviously, that's only for my uh, UK subscribers will be able to do that. But uh, yeah, that's much appreciated if you uh, will do that, because you can get a bonus uh, once you reach a certain level on those particular schemes. Uh, but that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did unboxing. Until the next video, take care. And I'll see you then. Bye for now.